Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use links in order to connect the joints between the beams and columns. Now, there are several ways that this problem will happen on a column. Let's focus on some of them. Let's say I've already, if I go for, sorry, for the plan, let's have already drawn the beams here. I've drawn the beams, but we know that there are some mismatch for the centers that we have it here. So how we have to deal with some of them? Some of those are outside of the, let's see, we'll delete this one. Let's, let's have it here. This is, let's say, outside. We'll manage these things. Some of them may be the center is far away from the intersections. We will not be able to, to see those in a plan. If I go to 3D, I will see those problems clearly. Let's start with this joint here. See the, the beams are intersecting here and this is the center of the column. Now this kind of situation I have it, we will not have any problem. This beam does not have any problem. But this beam has a problem because there is no, this joint here, there is no support for it. But for this one, there is no problem because the column is supporting a point here. Now, there is some other condition that we have it, which the column is here and none of the beams are connected here. So those are problems. Now, there is the loads when we do this analysis, we will have some errors, warning from ETABS. It tells us that it's ill supported and the, the columns are not supported. Well, the other condition that we have it here, and this again here, you will see in the 3D, that the column is center far away from this center as well. So in order to do to manage those, we have to apply link. We have to apply link that we defined it before. So we already designed, defined the link, which is rigid link. Now, you have to be careful with the condition that you have it. If not, there will be extra moments coming to the condition. I will start with this joint. Now, if I'm going to apply a link from this point, what is the idea? To join these two, in, two joints together with a link. So, the way to do it, the way to do it, you go to draw, draw link, or you can use this icon here, draw link. In, in three views, we can do plan elevation 3D. So, it's link. You will choose the type of link that you have it which we dis defined only one, which is rigid. You can define more if the condition required different link. So the way to do it, you'll just simply click at this joint and it will come to this joint here. Now remember link, it does not have any weight, nothing. Now this link will have a problem. Why? Because the beam that I had it here was continuous till here. Now if I put this link here, this part of the beam will be considered as a cantilever over the column, which I don't want this one to happen. For this one, it's okay. For this beam, yeah, I have to link this one here so that the, the load of this beam will be transferred to this column. But for the other beam, so what I have to do, Control Z, before applying, before applying the link to these two joints, I will delete this part here. How can I delete this? What I will do? I want to delete this part here. So that I want to delete this part here so that there will be only the beam and then I will put the link between here till the joint. So I want to get rid of this part of the beam here. Well, in order to get rid of the part of the beam here, what will you do? You select the beam and you select this joint here, this joint here. So that we want to cut from this joint, we'll go to edit, edit frame, then we have divide frames, and also break at intersection with selected frame and joints. So I want to just simply do this breaking at this point. You press OK, then you'll have this alone and this one alone. Then I will delete this one, delete this part, then I will apply the link here so that the part of the beam here will not be considered as a cantilever this is one way now in order to understand this one i can just show you 
just save this one I can show you another example another example that it's a frame so let's say you have this frame here oh uh, if I go for framing things now you don't see any problem here you'll say okay those are all connected together but now if I go to plan doesn't matter any of the story you'll see this is the condition I have it here the columns and the beams we have it there but if I go to 3d this is what does it look like if I just get rid of the extrusions you will see we have two conditions here one which this joints are not connected the other one is what it's kind of the beam is away from the column now if I don't provide links here let's say I have applied load there I just simply click on analysis if I don't apply link I'll get a warning and the warning shall tell me that it's ill restricted somewhere that it will say that ill conditions we have it or is un unstable the structure is unstable well this warning because of what you will see it here this joint here it's not however this one here look it, it's connected yes it's connected but not the way I wanted why let's see what's happened there if I just show we'll come back to this detailing later see I'm just trying to show some uh, now look at here I don't have negative moment here and I don't have negative moment here as well why because I didn't provide the link here and this part extra so the part of extra I have to delete it in that case this joint will be connected and will have because this is the joint like this is the joint those joint are not something I could have done this one by different way to apply assign a fixed joint here yes I would have fixed this part here but this one here look it seems that this is a pin and nothing there so if you have a case like this you have to provide link in order for ETAPs to understand those are linked together so if I'm going to don't worry about the analysis the things I'll come back to those you will learn all of them so if I'm going to draw the link here let's say we have the link here so I can provide the link let's go to 3d will be easier I can provide the link here there and say one to this point there however for the other side for the other side I can provide link like this but if I provide link in this manner what will happen this part of the beam will be considered as a cantilever so the easy way to do it I mean we said that we have to just simply divide this frame let's see divide the other one as well this joint So I will delete this part that we have there, the small part, and still because I still prefer to assume this joint to be fixed one, to be fixed one. If I need, I will assign something to this joint. Let's see if it takes automatically. If not, I have to assign something. We'll come back later to it. That I'll make sure this is something like fixed, or even a kind. Or assign something else for it. So if I now go for, let's say I'm going for analysis for this, con for this condition. Now I have to see the problems. If there is still problem with this condition, I shall see it. So if I go to, to see the diagrams. Now we'll see that the link here is working, and this part it seems to be okay. So just if I go for the, sorry. If I'm going to show the, let's say the moments, I'll see the moments I have it here and the moments I have it here. So this is how we have to manage the links in ETAPs. Make sure that this is an example to understand. So if I come back to the case that I have it here, which for our case we have it here, you understand that this part here I deleted and applied, I applied a beam there. Let's see what's this happening here.
So there is a link here and same similar way you will go through all the connections to see now here I have to create a nice link basically I can connect all of this together to the column here I'll link them to the column together so just simply with the link linking this one to the column another link to this one look I can if this is if this beam is linked to the column I can simply link this one to the column as well if I want to from here I can connect to the column as well I believe this was supposed to be drawn from here till here so this is something else I mean I could draw this beam rather than through here to be connected to this beam here and that since there is the link there so or I can just simply connect this one to this part here and since the link is there so it's automatically will bring to the column same way will continue from the rest of them now if if this beam is on the column again you can delete this one somewhere or if it is full on the column it's not going to be out of the column let's say if this is some way out of the column has no relation to the column you can directly link together here or you can cut a part of it then you can link together now you realize that sometimes you need to cut sometimes you don't need to cut anything so how do i know this one it's basically depend on the column and the location of the beam now here i have to connect those with a joint now let me show you on a plan so i'll leave this one for you later when you're drawing the beam now look at here when i drew this beam i drew this one till this joint and i drew this one till this joint where the center of the column it's here could I draw it in the beginning from the center of the column as well yes I could instead of providing the link here I could draw this beam this beam not till here as you can see it here so it basically seems to be something like this sorry this to be the beam that I have it here I drew it till this point here And the other one I drew till here well if if the center of the column it is on the line I could directly draw it in the beginning till here and the other one also till there so this way I could have just get rid of these two link here that's also possible well there are some cases that you realize here let's say for which part let's say here now here you realize that the center of this, so this is the center. Sorry, it's coming like this. So the center of the column is somewhere here, and this is this beams I have it here. Now I could draw in the beginning, I could draw this beam, for example, somewhere till here. Then we will provide two links, one link from here till here, the other link from here till here. That's also possible I could do it in this manner. So you will decide, because sometimes you can manage the beams without providing the links. Sometimes you have to provide links, you cannot manage it just with the beams. In this way, look at here for example those are the two beams that I have it here and this is the center of the column is somewhere here so I have to provide a link between them here or maybe if I would have bring it over the center of this one but still I have to provide it for for example this column here this column if the beam is not the center I have to provide the link to the center of it so make sure that the connection that you have it I mean what are the connection look there is a grid look there is a grid for the column and then and a grid sorry the a joint for the column and a joint for the beams now if you see two then you'll realize that there is no connection the best way to look at it it's 3d that you will see exactly if those are connected or not look at here you'll see two joint here 16 and 59 so this is not a connection we have it here what will you do you'll delete this small part here because this, there is nothing over it or connection to this here Remember this part here, if you don't delete it, there will be a small moment coming over the column extra. That's the only thing that you have. And if you believe that this small moment will not be a problem, 
And you're the designer. Just simply leave it in this way as you prefer. I believe this is enough for the link that we have. It is. So you'll provide all the links throughout the structure to make sure everywhere linked properly. If not, when you come to analysis, you will have this warning. So you have to come back and remodel the things. As we said in the beginning, modeling is one of the important part of the e tabs analysis and designing. So if you have a well managed model, then you will not have any problem in the analysis and design. Thanks for watching.